Perhaps. That's a great question, right? bro. That's a great question. Like, we, what would you do, like, for your opinion? Like, I, I want to know, you know? The answer, entrepreneurship. Wings Mobile Detailing is completely reinventing what auto care means. And with that comes opportunity. We offer you a chance to leverage our five-star franchise business Hello, model. guys. This is Andre here with Wings Mobile Detailing, another series. Another, of the detailing business roundup. Another great series. Another greatness <laughs> of detailing business roundup. Detailers are going to learn everything about business. Today we're talking about the importance of customer service. Let me lower my brightness here. But we're with Gion. Hey. Gion. How you doing today, Andre? I'm good, man. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Gion is the greatest sales customer service guy in the world. Definitely. Because he works for Wings. Yes. All right, so today we're talking the importance of customer service. If you guys are a detailer, bam, we're gonna go over the follow-up types that you can do with your clients. The importance of follow-up, there's definitely, and John's probably gonna be staring at my screen here to see what I'm gonna talk about. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, no, bro, let me, know. <laughs> let me top of lower things. my friends. <laughs> clients, how do you sell to clients? For detailers, everybody who's out there answering the phone calls as well. And the client say, let's say, oh, your price is too, I'm gonna shop somewhere else because of the price, your price is too high. So one a good example for that yes. would be, and John's gonna jump in. Definitely. Would be for you to tell your clients that indeed other places do charge $20 less. Yes. You wanna be the you one wanna to agree, say. You wanna agree with them. You wanna agree. You wanna agree with them, say, yeah. you're right. That's definitely gonna happen. There's different companies that will you know, provide yeah. you with less um, you know, pricing for the services. Other companies can like cost, uh, if, they, if they're like, if you explain to them all the service, went mm -hmm. through the sales process, they can explain all the service. And they'll be like, oh, you know, I'm gonna look for other companies. Perhaps they're looking for a lower price. If you're the one to say, mm -hmm. you know, there's this place, you don't have to name another company, but say, oh, we know of other place who does charge $30, you know, you can call around. Agree with them. Yeah, call around, you know, you're agreeing. Yes, definitely. Put yourself in their yeah. shoes. Because they do charge thirty dollars. They do, yeah. Because once but you do that, but make sure you ask. Yeah. Right. Make yes. sure you ask that they do the steam cleaning and all the process. Yes. Because then you can offer and let them know that the service that you're providing is will be high quality. Um, mm -hmm. You know, compared to the thirty dollars service that you might get just minor stuff done to the vehicle. Um, so that's really good to do that because agreeing is you know because then you'd be on the same page with the client. You Which definitely awesome. want to be on the same page. Definitely, bro. always. You yeah. want to show the client, there's nothing here for you to read. <laughs> no, there's nothing, dude. There's nothing here for you to read. <laughs> it's awesome, Let me bro. open the schedule. I can't really so see it because the screen look. is dark. <laughs> <laughs> there's literally nothing. I'm not reading from anything. Okay. It's coming out from my brain. That's good. Bro. Knowledge. <laughs> Knowledge. <laughs> and you agree with, a, imagine that, guys. A cl client calls and they're like, oh, you know, I love your service and everything, but I just, I'm going to shop price around, right? And just like John said, you put yourself in their shoes, you agree with them, and you are the ones to tell them that indeed, you know, there are other companies that charge less. Man, yeah, yeah. you're gonna be in good shape. Then they're gonna rethink. While they're on the phone with you, they're gonna be like, oh, you know, the other company's gonna be 30 less, but I, you know, it's coming from you. He's agreeing with me, and they're, they're probably gonna get yeah. your service. Yeah, you and you know, people well. know that sometimes you do get what you pay for. Um, mm -hmm. with quality and services and stuff like that. So when they, when you let them know that, they, they see, okay, $30, which is a quick end, they might miss some stuff, Yes. you know? Yes. Um, and when it's, you know, a higher quality package for the price, you know, we make sure to get yeah. everything all good for them. So they know, you know? They know, um, and, and you're not telling them that, hey, the other service is $100 less, yeah. $200. You're only, you're saying the reality, which is, yeah, you're gonna save 20. And they're not gonna think about your price anymore. They're gonna think of the only $30 difference. Yes. Like, oh, you know, for $20, I'm not gonna hang up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's gonna definitely. go with quality. Yeah, yeah. All right, now the the importance of following up, guys. The, not following up. The importance of customer service. You gotta put your customer on the pedestal for any business, regardless of the industry. Yes. Right. Customers gotta be. Uh, let's go over what it means to always agree with a customer. Mm -hmm. Right, because we gotta get a special chair for for the customer. Right. Let's. We could put a chair right there. Yeah. What, what does always agree mean, bro? Always, always agree. Does, always, it, does it mean they are always right or always see from their point of view mm -hmm. that they're because they're looking to get something that is 
Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Always see from their point of view. Meaning that you can put in your mind that the customer is always right. Even if you feel like they are wrong. So let's say they're calling you for something, for a service. Uh, and you, because sometimes you can already tell if a customer is going to be a problem, right? Yeah. Obviously, um, those you, you do kind of want to avoid because if you're getting into something that you're instinct already mm -hmm. tell you that they're going to be a problem regardless of the situation that's a different case yeah definitely right you um, might want to avoid but differently from the people who say you know i i got a great example sure here. great example okay <laughs> we we got guys before who done a car for a customer yeah right um an employee of ours yeah and they go out and they see the they, they deliver the, the car to the customer you know mm -hmm. they're at their location yeah and they say the car is ready customer come look at the car the car looks beautiful you know so they're like oh looks great you know thank you very much bam they get the keys get, get payment and they finish. go out finish yeah and then the customer calls they call they call and they be like hey man it's missing this this and that mm -hmm. you know Believe it or not, guys, or it might be one of them, you know, hopefully not. But believe it or not, there are people who, detailers who can be like, well, but I'm not going back. The client already said that it looks great when I was there. Yeah, that's true. Right? That's not putting in their shoes because they found out later that there was mistakes so, yeah, there. Yeah, because yeah, they notice it when they're driving it. Yeah. You know, or when the sun's reflecting on the glass, for example, and maybe the windows are, you know, yeah. streaky. Um, so, yeah, this, so they'll let you know afterwards. Let you know it later. Yeah, but sometimes, like you said, um, companies do just don't offer, you yeah. know, to, you know, come back, you know. And you gotta. Yeah. Right? No, definitely. Because it's good to, yeah. you know, make sure that the client is satisfied with the service that was, you know, provided. The worst thing about uh, you not putting yourself in the customer's shoes mm -hmm. is for you to give excuse. You know, like yes. the one I just said, right? Yes. Oh, you know, but the customer said it looks great. You know, now they're complaining. I'm not going to go back there. Yeah. You know, that's you wanna, bad. Yeah. yeah. Definitely you, bad. You, you run a business like that, you run your business in, into the ground. Yeah. So that's not, you know. Because that shows the client that you're not willing to take the extra mile to mm -hmm. come out there and like you don't kind of care about them. Yeah. You know, because when you go out there and recheck them, for, you know, um, the service for them, then they know that, okay, the, the team actually cares to is really good for them um yeah which is you know good thing to do so it is and and like and and it's kind of your responsibility to no. go back there right no definitely yeah it's, it's not like you're doing them a favor it's not like it's not, it's not like you're doing them a favor of going back to mm -hmm. your if, unless you're and unless you're representing your company in all this quality quality yeah that's true right yeah then that, that's different all right we got prices here where's my computer going now <laughs> Now that these things are quite not working well today. Prices. Prices. All right. Follow up types. The types of follow up. Uh huh. What What can you do to bring out a better customer service? We're talking about customer service here. Mm -hmm. Selling is a customer service. What we just talked about is a customer service. But yeah. follow up types is following up if the job was done well. Mm -hmm. Not just when you're there at the location. Yeah. But you're going the extra mile. Yes. What do you do, bro, to follow up? Follow up, yeah. as in like call wise or as as like after you finish the after they finish the job the, the, oh, the day okay. before or after the team finishes. Sure, the yeah. Um, so it's good to give a client the call just to check. We do that, yeah. Um, you know, to see how the service went. You yeah. know, see how the quality and the, you know the customer service with the detailer went. Um, you know, so how, you can how the detailer portrayed themselves. No, definitely, yeah. yeah. Just to see the environment of how things went to, you know, turned out for that yeah. appointment. Um, and it's good to get the feedback so you know to, you know, inform the team if there's any things to improve in. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we always follow up. Yeah. You know, to see. We follow yeah. up and we ask, we ask exactly that for customer service, how the detailing do and mm -hmm. the technical part. Yeah. If there's missing anything, man, if you do that, you do that, you're going to excel. We're going to be it's good because think about it's it. What good. company does this yeah, nowadays? Yeah. Which regardless of the company, because it, you know, because get closer, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but like, yeah, because when you're putting the effort and the time, yeah, you know, because it does, you know, you, time is value, right? So yeah. when you put in the value for the time, you'll 
you know, they're gonna you get something out of it that. because yeah, 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 they definitely appreciate like, that. Like, you're oh, dude, they them. care about me. Yeah, you know, because sometimes they clients don't say anything. Yeah, and 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 the service exactly. could be bad, and they don't say yeah. anything at all, and then you only know when you follow up with them because they might be like, oh yeah, um, I didn't, you know. Now they That's say a great point. Yeah. That's because a, a lot of people are scared of following up with clients because, because of that. yeah, because yeah, they're afraid of hearing the neg- the negative aspect. Yeah, that's true. But man, that's the real. That's the actual yeah. point. We're yeah. the point of that is to for customer service, the mm-hmm. client to like that and know we they care about me. Yeah. But this is really meant for for you guys to actually get the negative feedback that yeah. you don't usually get if if you don't call them back. Yeah. They're just going to be like, I'm not going to use their service again. Yeah. Because sometimes they just won't say anything. They just let it go. Um, yeah. They're like, they miss some stuff and they just let it go. Because that's just, you know, how, how it is for them. But when you follow up with them, they might just open up to you, let you know how it went. Yeah. And if they tell you, you know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, right? Yeah. Um, and then you find out and then and you just improve is, on it. You and just, if it is bad, it's, yeah. it, it's good that you heard that. Yep. So, you know. And it's good that they know that you care. Yeah. That and you're then you make the right. client happy when you have a team come out there yeah. and check it because now you know because they never told you so it's good and you know the team as well yeah you know the team yeah and then you Cl- let them know. the, the follow-ups the follow-up types are those there are other types of following up is the clients and we d- you do that you can get automated systems crms which we do have with the wings mobile detailing franchise Ooh. they got all that systematic because everything that you want to do when improving your business you first gotta be like Okay, I'm gonna start doing this in my business. I'm gonna start following up with clients. Yes. But you have to create a system. Not just, I'm gonna follow, follow up one day and then the other, I'm not. No, everything that you have an idea that's better for your business, mm-hmm. you always do it. Yeah. And systems can be automated as well. Just like it's included in the yeah. franchise. No, definitely, yeah, <laughs> autumn. <laughs> so, fo- and the second type of following up with clients are past clients that you serviced, let's say a year ago, six months ago, three months ago, to redo their car, to see, hey, you know, do you want to redo your car? That thing is good because um, it's your responsibility to keep that as a, your client, to remind your client, everything is your responsibility. Yes. Right? Because even for that, when you follow up a year later, um, on top of that, from the last thing we said, uh-huh. sometimes when you do that one year follow up, you find out that they did not like the service from the year ago, even after you did the follow up with them. The first follow up. After that first service was completed. Yeah. Um, because, you know, they didn't answer you or they just, you know, maybe didn't see it that you were checking up on them. Um, but yeah, sometimes you find out later from that, which That's will true. which will also have a second chance to, you know, improve mm-hmm. that. Um, because now you can let them know that your team's, you know, super improved and you worked on everything to, um, to make it right for them after the second yeah, time, after the year. With us. Yeah. And then to give, you know, another chance. So, yeah. yeah. That, that happens a lot with us actually. Yeah. Where you're like, oh, you know, last year was, cause we had times, we had times ourselves where yeah. team wasn't going too well, yeah. period, period of time. Yeah. Right. Like every company, but we were always looking to improve. Definitely. And that's, that's an, uh, that's an opportunity when we're following up a year later, say, mm-hmm. you know, Hey, we rebuild our team. Yeah. If that's the case, you're not going to lie. Yeah. But that's what happened to us. No, definitely. Yeah. And, and, not, and not only that, you got to attain your client back. You remind them mm-hmm. they are happy again that you're like, dude, this company cares. They follow up with me a, a year, year later. later. Yep. Man, that's awesome. Yep. And you recommend them the best service for their car. There you go. Not looking at prices. <laughs> The, the um and we got reoccurring clients as well but that's not a form of customer service that yeah. is just you attain them mm-hmm. another form that you can do is what, what else we got man because we follow up with them yeah um like we asked for the feedback right um, yeah but reoccurring clients yeah that gives you an idea of okay maybe let's talk about a hole in the bucket Hole in the bucket. A hole in the bucket. Okay. Hole in the bucket is everything that you're losing as far as client goes, mm. but you're not realizing because it's so small. Okay. Let's say, which that can make up, you know, forty percent of a business, is. Definitely. You know, you don't know what I'm gonna talk about right now. Yeah, because you know, like you said, like you. No, but about, I'm like, actually talk about the clients that call and mm-hmm. they don't book a service. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna call back. You know, thank you for giving the, the price. Bye. Yes. You know. If you're a weak salesperson, you're just gonna be like, okay, buy, lose that client, never heard from them again. Yeah. But those clients, th- there is such a huge audience of clients like these that you wanna tame them as well. You wanna get it. John's the best <laughs> sales guy, specialist yeah. in customer service. Yeah, even that, 
there's yeah. always to be work to improve. Mm -hmm. You know, because you notice that the client is shopping around, right? Yeah. And it's always mainly price wise, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why you kind of offer them, let, let them know what is included in the package. So they know yeah. before giving the price, because if you give, give them the price straight up mm. without telling them what is included, um, I tend to notice that, yeah. um, that they don't, you know, because when you're, you kind of get what I'm saying? I'm losing it there. <laughs> I, no, I, I get it. Um, and, but it's funny that I quite disagree with the fact of giving them the price later. Because yeah. the price should not be an issue in the sale. That's true. The price should, like, you shouldn't be afraid of telling your price. Like, it can, th that's the most confident part of a call. Yeah. Is you giving them the price. Because you yeah. want to be confident. Hey, my service is value this. And obviously... You, you can kind of use ways to keep them on the phone, yeah, but I get what I, you're saying. Maybe I mean by certain situations that you're mm, in, yeah. right? Because yeah, like, varies a lot, like maybe right. after, like you said, that's a good idea. Definitely a good idea. to Because once you say the price, you are confident in it. Yeah. You know, because you can say, okay, here's a set price for that. Then you can tell them the, the service, like you said, which is good. But then there's other, you know, situations when you feel like they're you're losing the client. The client is dropping price. Yeah. yeah. Like you feel like they're mm. kind of like backing out. So that's when you tend to, okay, your mind to change to a different um, way where you go, okay, let's offer them this service and you'll explain to them the, yeah. the, the service. Like, okay, we got this package, right? And then you yeah. offer that as a lower opportunity of another choice, right? Because they I, might be looking for that. Uh, maybe the, the clients that you were talking about are mm -hmm. those that says the client is the, uh, the shopping price. No, definitely, yeah. And they come out to you and and obviously the first rule is for you to agree with them, right? Yes, they're, always. Their shopping price, let me turn it back on. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So their shopping price of somebody, oh, somebody's gone. Oh man. Huh. Hmm. Oh, well, Andre is the greatest. Oh, you want to give me that challenge? What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> to yes, answer definitely. the phone, to answer the client. Gotcha, oh man. man. But, all right, so, <laughs> I'm gonna answer, man. I'm to answer live here. Okay, yeah. So the shopping price, no, for real. Uh, oh, but, you, you you want it? Oh, yeah, oh, oh sorry. I'll, I'll I didn't, go ahead. I didn't I'll go hear ahead. you yeah, saying. I'll, I'll answer the client. Okay, you know, yeah. Show um, greatness here. It was um this client right here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, this was a client that was once upon a time a slight problem that our team wasn't excelling well. Yes. Right? Yes. Perfect Definitely. example. Yeah. Real world here, man real world it's funny he was just calling him it was instantly it wasn't planned or anything is it on yes hello hello bob it's andre here andre how are you today well bob is doing okay did you i follow up with an email i was gonna yeah so it, so the idea of him coming over Sunday, hair coming over Sunday, doesn't mean I have to wait another week and a half because he didn't come out today. So I'm not, I'm not sure that we're aligned. I, I don't, you know, we have to do one of two things. Is I've missed enough. Uh, I totally understand, Bob, and the and I apologize for the mistake as well, <laughs> because we had you set for this past Sunday, and I was wrong to assume that we're not gonna we're, that we're not gonna skip this Thursday. Uh, I was definitely thinking of next week. Absolutely. I'm gonna try to I put mean, him on Saturday. I'm gonna call Eric to see if Eric he can do Saturday or Sunday. The other guys live, but um, I mean, it doesn't have to be like. See what you can come up with options. Just, just, just put 
put some options together. And so there's like to come there, on there's always an example in a call as well. You listen, space. but there's a moment we where you take control of the call, oh. right? You got to take control of the situation, cut it short. You guys all think about it. Bob. Let me know what you if if by chance we could make it uh i would email it to you to confirm for sure but we're definitely not gonna do it earlier than next week because i'm i understand you wanted your car done sooner than next week so i will i will do what i can to get done this week uh i'll email you about you know if it works for you obviously i'll ask you if whether saturday works for you reoccurring to be more and it, to be better and it can be For sure, Bob. We'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Yes, anyway. Bob. We'll make email it work, me. and I'll email okay. I'll email it to you by the end of the day, uh, yeah. and get it straight for sure. And, and yeah, we'll make it work the, the reoccurring services as well. Is that okay if I email you like by tomorrow afternoon, by like tomorrow morning actually? Well, I mean today. Thank you very much, Bob, and I will definitely confirm by tomorrow morning an email and uh, and yeah, definitely follow up always. Uh, but get it, definitely get it done before. You got it, Bob. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll, I'll follow up. All right. Bye, bye, Bob. Great example, bro. You see, that's good. But we understand this customer, this client. Yeah. Uh, it's a different type. Just he likes to be heard, right? Yeah, he yeah he likes you know to. He, he, but I like that though. How you you know just you listen because yes. you want to hear the client out. Yes. Right. Because they're not trying to personally attack you or anything. You know, they're mm -hmm. just trying to get, like for him, um, he was yeah. trying to get he was trying to know the situation of yes. what's going on. You know, yeah. he wasn't trying to attack you. He wasn't trying to personally, you know, yeah. he just listened, right? Yeah. Which was good. And and in business. Yeah. It's a business is not a place to be emotional. Yeah, uh, it's nice, especially in this generation yeah. nowadays. Everything is just uh, yeah. But business is not a place for you to be but emotional. But you do need practice with that because sometimes yes. you know um, it is too much. But you always be positive. You always, always be positive. Like, positive. That's what wins. Joe likes to do. Yeah. yeah. And there's always. a time of the call, as I was saying during the call, that you take you got to take control of the call. But there's also a time as well that you're like, hey, you got it. Mm -hmm. Bam, we'll make it right for you. Yeah. And if you can make it like this week, we it's going to be hard to schedule. I'm yes. going to ask the team first. Yes. But I'll do my best to at least schedule for before the day yeah. that, you know, yeah. that he wants. Especially because it was partially our mistake as well. No, definitely. Yeah, because once you yes. realize that, um, then you know what to improve in. Yes. Because um, he, like he said, he was just providing his ideas to us so we can improve, which yes. is good. Because you always want to hear it, you know, because mm -hmm. there's always room for improvement. So. So, so let's ask yes. for your opinion, right? Yeah. So, okay. So if the client, right? If, for example, I was calling. It's the water, man. Give me the old timer. <laughs> <laughs> right? Go ahead, I bro. was calling, right? And then you and I, and you offered me all the prices and the services, right? And then yeah. I was all like, do you have anything less expensive than that? Like, what's your most less expensive package? Always agree, right? right? And, and then I said, I'm yes. looking for something $30, dollars Perhaps. That's a great question, right? bro. That's a great question. Like, Be what would you do, like, for your opinion? Like, I, I want to know, you know? So, you, you want to be the company. Mm -hmm. First, always think agree, right? Yes. But let's yes. let's go a little bit further in that. Okay. You want to be the company that you have the options that the clients want, yeah. wants, yeah. right? Because they're going to be, they're not, if you say that, no, we don't have that. Uh -huh. We don't have the price that you want. We don't have that or something. Sure. Now, on the call, you're gonna be like, okay, it's either I go with your company uh -huh. or with another company. Nice. I'm gonna hang up the phone and call another company. Okay. You don't want them thinking that. Yeah. I, I, they wanna think about, oh, I want this service of your company mm -hmm. or this service of your company. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna think of the other company because you already told me that the other company is cheaper. Yeah. But you can say, hey, what are you looking for? We got all different sorts of prices and packages, uh -huh. like the ceramic coating, for example, yeah. right? It varies, it and does. that's why you guys have to also have options, service options. You want to give clients options. Yeah. It's not like out there how people say you don't want to give clients options because it's going to confuse them. Yeah, 
that's not reality. You want to use those options for you to sell your service. Yeah, definitely. And you can say, hey, we have a cheaper package. So the, they call you and they need a service that costs 180, mm -hmm. right? The service that they want, it costs 180. It does. But they don't want to pay that. They want yep. to play, pay, you know, Less. Uh, a hundred, uh, eighty dollars. Sure. Right. Sure. We don't have a service for eighty dollars. Yep. We have for one twenty. So, we'll, so if you want to play something out, you want to play example yeah. out. I want to say, hey, I, I just recommended to you the one eighty that comes with a shampoo. What you need for your car, like you mentioned, have stains. Yeah. It's a one time. You're not gonna have to spend this again, and you're not gonna have to come back because it's gonna be clean for one eighty. Yeah. But we do. You know, we have the other package for one twenty. Mm -hmm. Uh, for one hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. The only difference here is that this doesn't include uh, the shampoo that you need. Mm -hmm. And for $60 more, uh, it would come with what you need. You want to make them think not about the 180, but you're in a, you want them to think about the $60. Yes. For $60 more, we're going to do this. You're going to get the shampoo that you needed. You have kids. We clean it all out. The fabric's going to be protected. If your kids spill something on it. <laughs> yeah. Whatever they already told you that they want, you want to repeat that. Yeah. But you at the same time, you want to say, we do have the $120 package, and it still looks great. You know, it's, it still is a detail. Yeah. You don't want to downgrade the 120 Definitely. Because if you do downgrade the 120 you're going to be like, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to get... A hundred and twenty dollar package with another company, uh -huh. and you're saying no. One twenty is also great of ours. Yeah, uh, it's one twenty. I know you're looking to spend uh, eighty dollars. Eighty dollars, honestly, would only get you. You're not saying no. Mm -hmm. You don't want it. You don't have that package. Yeah. But you're not saying no. You're saying eighty dollars. Unfortunately, it would only come with a car wash for you, mm -hmm. and I would definitely not recommend an eighty dollar package. Yeah, because you'd only come with this or that. Yeah. So at least the 120, which is still great, because mm -hmm. you don't want you don't have a 80, but you're not saying that, right? Yeah, you're not you saying that. You get what that. I'm saying? Yeah, you're agreeing but countering by letting them know that okay, here's the price that you yes, you're reminding them of the price that they're looking for, convincing but, yeah. them that they really it's not worth for them to pay what they want to pay. No, definitely, yeah. It's worth to pay what you offer without you saying no, you don't offer that package. Yeah. The moment you say no, they're going to be like another company, yes. another company. Because if you don't have it yes. and you say no, someone else has it. Someone else has it. You so don't, don't want to say, say no. no. You don't want to say no. Don't but they no. want the $80. Yes. You definitely use that, hey, but we have the 120 lower mm -hmm. than what you said initially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then if that doesn't work, and then you say, great. even for 80 right, like you said, yeah. you might only get this and that, just a quick, but because the 120, you'll get all of this and the, you know, yes. quality and the stuff like that. The 120, I'll get go. you all the stuff that you were looking for that yeah. they were And you can definitely, you. and this time you can definitely go against the $80 package that you don't have. Mm -hmm. And now if they say, no, man, I just want a car wash, $80 package is fine for me, yeah. right? And you don't offer that. Yeah. And then there is a certain point that it's okay for you to like. Yeah. Because at the end, it's okay for you to yeah. say, "Hey, I'm gonna do what I can, customer service. Mm -hmm. I'll look for a comp. Uh, I'll look for somebody who does for eighty dollars. Yeah. You know, I'm sure you're gonna look as well. Mm -hmm. But nice. Please call us back. You know, if you do feel like you know, at, at least one hundred twenty dollars, and then you, and then you talk <laughs> a good stuff about the one twenty dollar package. Okay. Yeah. Or depending on how much the price is. Yeah. And, and at a certain time, you hang up the phone. But yeah. you see how much you tried? Yeah. You no, know? definitely. And it didn't take much time. Yeah. Because you got to be on top of your head Because you can like feel that. it. Like, you, you can know yeah. that they're backing out. And when you're backing out, you're trying to yeah. pull them back in, you know? Yeah. Like fishing. Like fishing, yeah. <laughs> and I think this example goes more towards sales, mm -hmm. especially. Um, but sales in, in, in and of itself is customer service. Because yeah. you're providing them the best service. If mm -hmm. you believe in your service, you yeah. want the client to go with you, you know? Yeah. So that's in a way customer service and you're explaining the job, you gotta be educated as well. But Yeah, and on top of that, um, what I realized too, like when they're looking for an 80 price service, right? Mm -hmm. But then after, when you do convince them to get the 120, for example, with the, you know, all the stuff that's provided and that, they notice that it's really actually good, you know? Uh, like they actually were looking for that. Exactly. And then they, they notice that, okay, 
yeah. I'm glad that I got this package instead of the 80 because sometimes they do use other detailers before and they paid less and they didn't get a good enough service. That too, they realize um, it. And yeah. then when they go for you know the 120, they notice, oh yeah. wow, it's amazing, you yeah. know, for that price. So it proves yeah. your kind of you know it your does. thing. It does. Yeah. And they're not gonna think I'm gonna spend too much. I'm only spending sixty dollars more. Yeah. I'm not. You know, they're not thinking yeah. of the one eight. You make them think. Yeah. Oh, you know, it makes sense. Yeah. Sixty dollars. You know. Sometimes that happens. Sixty dollars. Um, I had that happen um, where. Yeah. They're like, yeah, I'm glad I got the one twenty one because I used to get this other detailer. He was charging less, but the quality wasn't too good. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of why it's good to, uh, just definitely go man. for it definitely for your, yeah and detailing is fun everything about detailing is fun mm -hmm. uh guys check it out i hope this helps you guys on customer <laughs> service john's drinking the wings water now man. it's delicious <laughs> thank you man yeah. get it close to the shot nice nice <laughs> <laughs> and customer service uh every thursday every thursday detailing business roundup Nice. It's all about detailing business. We post auto detailing videos as well on the channel. But this is a detailing business roundup, and you guys can subscribe to see the next one. To be a killer in the business, if you take your business seriously, you're not only going to watch, but you're going to get with Catch Wings phrase. Mobile Detailing. You grow, you learn. Boom, was mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What was the last part? Oh, uh, I didn't. It was just two parts. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna yeah, keep it yeah. like that. Just grow yeah, and learn. Yeah. Work because on it. That's why we're work here. Working on it. Bro. That's why we're here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> working on the last. Next time, I guarantee that John is here. He's gonna be wearing a wings ball yes. detailing uniform. Yes. It's okay. You never judge the appearance. You always judge the soul. Okay. okay? Yeah, that was because, deep. Yeah. Bullshit. Just bring out the shirt. Because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> the soul. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make you grow. We'll okay. make you grow, yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, no. Thursday. Check Thursday. it out. Subscribe. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. Bam. <laughs>